The Grimway family actually showing real life Despite social media feeding us who that real hype We just some real guys trying to give some high definition To reality family acrobatically juggling life Smoke for these tries to avoid eternal casualty trust It ain't easy, but team won't make the dream work It's me, Ella, Hesse, Hosanna, Harper and Halle And I ain't forget that has a ride to the family You have to say please. Say please. That's right. If you come and ask her, you say please. 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 She might give it to you. You need a Good boy. Well done. Yeah, good boy. Clapping himself. That's <laughs> all. You like it? Ready? No! You directed it down. Anything. You have to do some lyrics that mean yeah. something. Well, do that again, but then do some lyrics that mean something. Mm -mm. Go on, I'm okay, thanks. I'm not asking you. I'm oh, right. asking the people. Sorry, the sorry, sorry, gang. sorry. Um, I hope you're all feeling all right. I'm not feeling particularly great today. Uh, don't know why, really, but that is how things go when you're pregnant. Yeah, a lot of people on Instagram have been messaging saying, how's Ella today? And I've just been constantly saying back to them, well, it's a day-by-day -day process. One minute she's up, one minute she's down. It's literally like that, isn't it? It is moment? literally like that. Um, I don't know if any of you watched my pregnancy update, but I'm still taking my iron tablets to try and help me not feel too tired. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a day out together yesterday as a family, which was nice, um, and I managed to have a lot of energy for that. But by mm -hmm. the time I got back home, I did do quite a bit of ironing, but by the time it was bedtime, I felt mash up. Mm. Um, so yeah, it kind of takes its toll. So maybe that's why I'm not feeling so great today. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one day up, one day down kind of thing. Gotcha. But hey, it's all going to be worth it when this baby arrives. So Come on, baby. Yeah, come on, baby. Only six months to go. Pretty much, yeah. Only six months to go only. And in the grand scheme of things, you know, so he was moving house and he was like, oh, it's only six months time. You know, you'd think, well, there's a lot to get done in that time. Yeah, yeah. It's going to fly by quickly. So in the grand scheme of things, six months isn't that long to wait. It just feels like ages when you feel like, you know, an alien on this planet. So, yeah, it's, it's not easy. And the kids, I mean, bless them. You're helping mummy as much as you can. Yeah. 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 And I know, here's you're at football at the time, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but when I do get back, I try and help as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've seen mm -hmm. mummy, this is the sixth time you're seeing mummy go through this now. And is mummy generally happier when she's pregnant or not pregnant? Not pregnant. When she's not pregnant. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, so. Ru, are you creaming yourself? Oh, okay, that's a bit much. Wait, you don't need that much bubs. Right, okay, let's um gonna be, You're gonna be the greasiest baby on town. Right now you can put it on the okay. No but no. Hazariah. You will end up getting told off. Hazariah Roo, go and say sorry to your mummy now. What do you say? Mum. 
Yes, and you say, say sorry. sorry. Okay. Good boy. Good well boy. done. Can Top boy. Kiss my mummy. Whoa. <laughs> The kiss was just an added bonus at the end. Yeah. It? Hosanna actually said to me this morning because um, we were outside and the girls were running around our close mm -hmm. and my neighbour came over the road just to see how I was and um, she was asking after this, you know, are we going to have any more of the usual questions? And mm -hmm. Hosanna was like, but mummy, I want you to have 10 babies. I was like, well, when you're married and you're having kids, you can have 10 <laughs> babies if you want to. But uh, I think this will be the end for me. So um, generally, is what I was going to say, there are a lot of questions that come along with pregnancy. Mm -hmm. you know, are you going to have any more children? Yep. Is it just one baby, two babies? Yep. How are you feeling? All this sort of stuff. Also, mm -hmm. is it going to be a boy or a girl? Dun, dun, dun. Which is the question. And the way it has gone with us so far is with Hezzy, obviously it was a boy first, but we didn't find out mm -hmm. what his gender was. Nope. And then with all the girls, we found out, and with Hazariah, because mm -hmm. you guys saw us do his Mom. gender reveal. Yes. Mom. Door. You scoot. Go. Door. I need to open the door. Mm -hmm. Right. I knew it is that. You want your boots? Go on, Emery. Yeah, he wants Hezzy's boot, that's why. Because as you guys saw, we had the gender reveal for Hazariah, and obviously it was a boy, which is amazing. Now this time, we're, I'm in an RN. Should we find out the gender? Should we not find it out? Should we leave it as a surprise? <laughs> I know Hosanna particularly wants us to find it out. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> why do you want us to find it out? Because then we'll know what, like, yeah, perhaps if we're gonna go shopping for the baby, we'll know what to get it, but we'll probably get a white clothes anyway. Probably, but I guess it will help us to know, for example, if it's a girl, are we gonna put the cot into the girl's room, or if it's a boy, is it gonna stay in the boy's room? You know, all these sorts of things. I guess it's just nice to know. Go on, Hosanna. Basically, we can just be prepared, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, that is correct. Yeah. So, it does help in preparation, knowing the gender first. But then at the same time, it kind of takes away the element of surprise. And now, when you don't know the gender, and the baby's born, you can be like, oh my gosh, it's a boy, oh my gosh, it's a girl. But then at the same time, it still is exciting, I guess, when you do know the gender mm -hmm. of the baby. Like, was you as excited? Yeah, like, when we was having Azariah, like, uh, it was the added thing of Hezzy wanted a brother so bad, as you all know. Um, and I wanted another boy. Um, just because I've got multiple girls and I've seen different personalities of my girls. Do you know what I mean? I don't even have Hezzy. And don't get it twisted. Hezzy is a remarkable son um, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, however, having another one, like as you see, like Hazariah is a lot more fiery. I used to have a really fiery temper. I used to just go off a bit like Hazariah does. Um, at, at the smallest things but the difference is it's funny because now he's playing the piano um because i am his dad now i feel like i know a bit of how to deal with it but back to the the point you were saying yeah i was still as excited with um hazariah as i was not knowing with hezzy harper do you remember the gender reveal with hazariah yeah do you remember when we had what did we do yeah. what came out the garage um we opened the garage and there was, and then there was lots of balloons coming in the sky and then they went in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Right. and what colour were they? Um, blue. They, they were, were blue. Why were they blue? Because it was a baby, a boy baby. That's right. That's well, correct. Very good. Hallie, do you want to find out? Yeah, I want to find out because then you get to like know for like longer than like, yeah, yeah. I know. and then you don't know, and then it's like, oh, I want to know now, and you're getting all bored of not knowing, but you're not getting bored of. You're the too baby. fast. That's what. Yeah, it is. you're too fast. No, no, you are. <laughs> <laughs> too fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't really mind this time. Like, mm -hmm. I really wanted to do it for Rue because, like, um, I thought it was going to be the last baby yeah. that the Mummy yeah. was having, and I wanted to, it to be like a big one. Yeah. And I was really happy that it was a boy mm -hmm. because I really wanted a brother. Definitely. But this time, I feel like it might be a girl for some reason. Okay, cool. Like, I, I don't really want to do a big gender reveal. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, why? Are you going to be disappointed with a girl? No, not disappointed, but it's just the girls, there's three of the girls and... I can understand, boys. mate. I can understand. I totally get it. And this is where we thought we would turn the question to you guys. 
Um, I had the bright idea the other day um, when we was Amin and Lara discussing what should we do. I thought, well, why don't we let our Grimway gang decide whether we should find out the gender or not? Mm -hmm. So, oh, flying bricks. This is where it comes across to you guys now. If. <laughs> Sure. If you want us to find out what the gender of the baby is, what you need to do, you need to get up to us on Instagram. So if you don't follow us already, make sure you go and follow us. If you ain't got an Instagram account, you're gonna need to set one up so that you can message us on there and let us know whether you think we should do a gender reveal or not. Um, and whatever the result is, if you guys say we should do a gender reveal, find out what the gender of the baby what is. What are they going to do? Reveal. DM us. Like yeah, just just reply us. to one of our stories or something. It doesn't matter just which one. Just send us a direct message. Yeah. yeah, and let us know what you think we should do. Um, I don't know exactly when we're going to do this up until because I'm what. 15, 14 weeks now, mm -hmm. and you usually find out in six weeks' time. Yeah. At your twenty week scan. So you need to get your messages into us before six weeks. ASAP. Yeah, as soon as possible. Um so we can decide whether we're gonna find out the gender or not. Think that's a good idea? Yeah. yeah. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it up, bring it up, prove me wrong.